And we back. We've done point guards. We've done shooting guards. And now it's time to put the top 10 small forwards in NBA history in a draft class and simulate their careers. Will LeBron still end up being the greatest small forward of all time? Or will it be Larry Bird? Who else is here? I created this roster a little while ago. I don't even remember who the top 10 ended up being. Let's, let's go check. So if you're new around here, you miss point guards and shooting guards. I recommend going to watch those. But these are not my own personal rankings of top 10 small forwards. I go in and do some mathematics, right? I go to other people's articles of the top 10 small forwards of all time, and I do some averages, right? LeBron James was consistently number one, so he secured his spot. And yet, some people did not make the cut. You're probably going to be wondering why this player not here or this player not here nine times out of 10. I mean, they didn't make the cut. Their averages... Once we looked at these 10 articles, didn't have them in the top 10. There are also some players that aren't in the game. Simple as that. You know, so if it's an old-timey player that you think deserve to be in the top 10 and they're not, nine times out of 10, there is no rookie version of them in the game. As you know, we start off with a rookie. So 18-year-old LeBron, 18-year-old Melo, 18-year-old Kevin Durant, Larry Bird, Dominique Wilkins, Kawhi Leonard, James Worthy, Paul Pierce, Scottie Pippen, Adrian Dantley. And those are our top 10 small forwards of all time. And now that I'm seeing this, okay, it is 10. I was, I was trying to figure out, did I forget to add one person? Nope, that this is 10. Buckle in, leave a like, let's get into it. Let's see what these players get drafted. This is a fantasy draft because I don't want people going to the same teams in every single one of these videos with small forwards. People are saying the small forwards is gonna be the hardest one of the bunch. I mean, when it was making these lists, it was almost for sure these were the top 10. There was no John Havlicek because he's too old. Rick Barry, another player that should have been here, but he was too old. And when I say too old, just like I said, no or a rookie version of them in the game. Either way, these are our top 10. We gonna see who turns out to be the greatest of all time. And Giannis won the championship and finals MVP. All right, so the Bucks have the highest potential to get the first pick. Then you got, okay, who's gonna be? The Rockets. I didn't even see the Rockets in the top three. The Rockets jump up to get the first overall pick. And I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that they're going to go ahead and draft LeBron James number one. But these are the top 10 small forwards of all time. I wouldn't be mad if KD went. I wouldn't be mad if Larry Bird went. You feel me? Those will be, in my opinion, the top three dudes because I know that they coming in at 80 plus. Scotty didn't come in at 80 plus. I'm kind of spoiling things, but he didn't come in at 80 plus. So LeBron gets drafted first overall. He is 6'9", 250 as a rookie. Now, it did take Bron a little bit of time to become that weight. You know, he didn't come in as a rookie at 250, but in this universe, he did, and that might make him even better. Next, we got Carmelo Anthony going number two to the Bucks. KD, can he go back to OKC, or are they going Larry Bird? You got to go Larry Bird, right? They went KD. KD, Trey Five, he's back, and they gave him his original number. That's a W if you ask me. I don't know who's on this team. It's unclear if Anthony Edwards was... Oh, him and Anthony Edwards on the same team? That's a lot of buckets if you ask me. Fourth pick, is Larry Bird going to Cleveland? That looks weird. Larry Bird's going to Cleveland. Number five is going to be Dominique Wilkins going to the Nuggets. Number six is going to be Kawhi Leonard to the Suns. Then we got James Worthy going to the Orlando Magic. I have a feeling that Scottie Pippen's going to be the last pick. Paul Pierce to the Kings. Scottie Pippen's going to be the last pick, 100%. Oh, I thought they were going to do a trade. Adrian Dantley to the Mavs. And then the last pick is going to not even be Scottie. Sheesh. Come on, man. Scottie Pippen goes to the Spurs. Okay, Central Arkansas is a wild college. But there we go. Our top 10 have been drafted. The small four positions as stacked as possible. LeBron comes in as an 84. We got an 82 for Melo, 84 KD. Larry Bird is an 83, 80 for Dominique, 81 for Kawhi, James Worthy, 78. Paul Pierce, 77, 80 for Dantley, who comes in at 21. I was going to say it's the oldest, but Dominique Wilkins is the oldest. And then Pip comes in as a 77. I got a feeling they got Pip so disrespectfully bad. What's your ceiling and your floor, Pip? Hall of Fame ceiling, never mind. So he's going to be all right. He's going to be all right. George Gervin for Paul Pierce, but that's Hall of Fame. James Worthy, that's Hall of Fame. Scottie Pippen for Kawhi, that's Hall of Fame. Uh, James Worthy, that's Hall of Fame. George Gervin, okay, everybody's George Gervin. Everybody's George Gervin. Everybody is George Gervin. Oh my God, everybody is George Gervin. The Iceman, everybody wants to be like you. All right, so we go on to year number one. We have 10 of the greatest small forwards of all time competing for Rookie of the Year. I'm gonna take control of every single one of these teams. I'm gonna turn off salary cap because that's the thing we do in these videos. And then we're gonna get to simulate them. I'm just sitting here writing down the teams and the Rockets look kinda nice. They got Pascal, DeMar DeRozan back together. They got Bron, who's gonna be coming off the bench because LeBron's only position is small forward. I'm going to change that. I'm going to make him, since he is young, oh my God, that jersey number is so ugly. Can we get you a different jersey number, please? Okay, I, I got him in number six because number 23 is taken. 
I'm making him a backup point guard because he's young. But this team's look really good for the now and for the future a little bit. I mean, not for the now, mostly for the future. With Bron, with Jalen Suggs, with Josh Green, and then like Pascal, I still consider relatively young at 28 years old. Brandon Clark's still there. So that team was kind of nice. Scotty comes in, immediately becomes a starter. Love that. Kawhi will be coming off the bench because Michael Porter Jr. is in front of him. That, I guess that's all right. You know, it's just a rookie season. KD immediately becomes a starter because why wouldn't he? You're one of our GOAT small four simulations. See, Steph Curry averaged 39, 6, and 6 and win MVP. Kevin Durant in OKC is raising the Rookie of the Year award. I was trying to figure out what the name of the Rookie of the Year award off the top of my head. I don't know. Kawhi Leonard averaged 23 and 2. Okay, great. With some good defense, one and a half steals. Uh, Dominique averaged 19, 19 for Dantley. I think Dantley is an underrated player here. In real life, he has seasons where he was averaging 30, and now he's playing in modern NBA, and I would assume they don't have him taking threes. He's only taking one. Same thing with Dominique. These older players don't adjust to the time. LeBron is only taking two. Carmelo knew exactly what the heck to do. He didn't shoot him officially, but he knew exactly what he should be doing. He, he got with the times. LeBron averages 18, four assists, only three rebounds. Okay, Bron, but he's up to an 85 already. Everybody, it looks like, had some type of progression in season. Paul Pierce is at the bottom here. What only 11 points per. Larry Bird pulls off a uh, Ben Gordon becoming one of the few people in NBA history to be a rookie and win six man of the year. He did that with the Cavaliers. I'm assuming that the Cavs are going to be pretty nice if they got Larry Bird coming off the bench. Oh, snap. Um, We got we got two people making all NBA already. Adrian Dantley already making the conversation. Well, I guess right now it's um it's KD is the greatest because he got the rookie of the year and this. But in year one, Adrian Dantley's at number two when it comes to uh the the race, the race for the greatest small forwards. Wow, how great is that? Denver's the number one seed. I forget who plays for what team. It's gonna take me some time to get used to it. But Denver, Anthony Davis, Dominic Wilkins, Lonzo Ball, Anthony Day. Oh my god, this team is nasty. If this ain't no winning championship this year, this is a team that's going to win a championship in the next two years before Anthony Davis's contract is up. Okay, sees the three seed. We got two of our teams going against each other. All right, that's great. And now East, we only got one team, and that's the Milwaukee Bucks. Let's go ahead and get to this play-in game because we got to see. I don't even know who plays for each one of these teams. It's Kawhi versus... Ah, who is there? Who's there? All right, we can go check. It's Paul Pierce. Okay, Paul Pierce is basically the lowest on the totem pole when it came to rotational players, but... Paul Pierce's team won, and Paul Pierce, oh, in just 24 minutes, he's a big-time player. He's a big-game player. If they win one more, they're in that thing. They lost that one to the Lake Show. All right, can, we can see a world where our teams go against each other, but that would be conference finals, which is probably asking for too much. Yep, because they two of these teams got eliminated already. Ha. I will only potentially jump into games that two of our players are going against each other. That is the rule for the rest of these videos. The eighth seed is all the way in the conference finals. Come on, Denver. They got swept. Tough scene. And the NBA champion is going into the Warriors who have Zion. All right, here we go. Player progression. Paul Pierce jumps up four, which makes him not even a starter unless they run him at the four. I know he's only 6'6", six, six, but if his secondary position is power four, run him at the four because you don't really have any other options. Trent Rodford, pass. Run Paul Pierce. Run the truth. Next, we have James Worthy, who's not even a starter of his team, but he can also play the four. Run him at the four. Over here, Adrian Danley is, is guaranteed a, a starter. He had been that way. Dominique Wilkins is guaranteed a starter. He wasn't that before, I guess. Was Cam Reddish starting? Was it Dominique? I don't really know. Then we have LeBron not even guaranteeing a starting spot. He's guaranteeing the keys to the car. Scottie Pippen, he's going to be starting. Unless they let Chumo Kiki play down or Tobias play down, Scottie Pippen's going to be starting. Over here with the 10C, Kawhi will not be starting yet. You can't even run him at the foe because this is a bit very big team. Unless you're running Y at the two. No, run, run Michael Porter Jr. at the two since that's his secondary position. Run Y at the three. You got, that's a big lineup right there. Next, you got OKC. KD is the third best player on his team, which is weird to say aloud. I don't know if I'll ever say that again. Carmelo is there. Larry Bird jumps up. And then we're back here. Okay, all right. A lot of our players are going to be starting in their relative roles. And I'm excited for that. Steph Curry. Um, yeah, th this guy right here, you know, just, just ridiculous. KD was the sixth man. Okay, I mean, uh, I mean, I guess he went from all NBA third team to coming off the bench. Anthony Edwards can run the two. He should be running the two. Ah, I hate this game sometimes. Uh, anybody making all NBA team though? That's, that's all I care about. LeBron is here in year number two. He went from not making it last year to making it this year because he got the keys to the car. And now he is a 90 overall, so he is uh, starting to blossom. Adrian Dantley's here as well. So Adrian Dantley still got the stranglehold on the number one spot. 
until somebody shows us otherwise. Chris Dunn, a guy that's pretty much out of the league at this point, makes all defensive team. Uh, shout out to him. Let's figure out what happens. So we got two of our teams going against each other again. It's KD versus Paul Pierce. See, I learned I learned them teams right there. You saw that I learned them teams right there. Take a look at the rest of the stats of our of our legends around here. So Paul Pierce jumped up to averaging about 17 points per game, which is great. He's no longer like a bottom feeder on the team. He's actually getting started minutes. Now we got James Worthy who jumped up about four. We got Adrian Dantley, who we saw was already great. Dominique is here. I'm like, who are we looking for? There's Dominique averaging 20. LeBron, you saw Scotty's up to 16, which is about four points more than before, and he's actually hitting a three-point shot a little bit. Kawhi is doing his thing, leading his team in scoring. I cannot believe they're really doing this. James Booknight is starting over Kevin Durant. KD can run the foe, too. Marvin Bagley, what? What? Stop playing, bro. If you don't let these dudes hoop together. Melo average is 18. It's Melo and Jason Tatum on the same team. Wow, it's kind of nice. I'm assuming that they're both starting, but I can't, I can't even say that anymore because my assumptions have been wrong so far. Nope. Nope. All right. Next season, I'm messing around with the rotations. So the people that should be starting to start. There's there's no reason for 2K to be having these positional versatility things if nobody's playing their secondary position. You feel me? They just not showing no love. King's Thunder. This is uh, KD versus Paul Pierce, and they're both coming off the bench. So why should I care? <laughs> why should I care? All right. So there we go. One of them is in, and the other one is not. No, two teams are in. I forgot that the, this was one of our teams, too. Uh, this is Adrian Dantley, who had an amazing game in this one-game elimination, and they ended up winning by four. All right, so we got a seven seed, an eight seed, a four seed, a four seed, and a six seed over there. All right, will we see these teams go against each other? Will we see somebody ever win a championship? I'm saying that like we're in year 30. This is year two. Slow down, Kenny. We have a eight seed, an Adrian Dantley-led team beating Luka Doncic, Josh Giddey, and Jeremy Grant. That's going to the resume, Adrian. If you get to the conference finals, you cannot. That's going to the resume, Adrian. Adrian might be the best player in the sim so far. Until Larry Bird just won a finals MVP out of nowhere. Six seeded Larry Bird just won finals MVP. Whoa, Larry. The legend. Six man of the year's rookie season. And now finals MVP. That's a big old jump. Those are the type of jumps we looking for, man. These are some of the greatest of all time. A lot of these dudes are ending up top 20 in the NBA history. And here they are showcasing that in just year two, man. Paul Pierce, 85. James Worthy, 87. Adrian Daly, 86. Dominic Wilkins, almost 90. 93 for LeBron. He just had his shoulders above everybody. I love to see that Scotty's blossoming the way you want him to. Kawhi and Evan Mobley and Bam is such a crazy trio of defenders, bro. Such a crazy trio. <laughs> Kevin Durant real life is the third best player on his team and you can't say nothing about it that's just the reality of the simulation all right I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that everybody is a starter that should be even if that means they're playing their secondary position 2k got a bad of his own y'all I had Carmelo starting. I literally had him starting, and they changed that, and now he is a six-man. He won an award, which is something a lot of these players cannot say. LeBron jumps into All-NBA first team for the first time, the first player to do such a thing. Two-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA, All-Defensive team this year as well, so don't sleep on those accolades. Scottie Pippen. Yes, sir, Pip. Represent. I know you're not from Chicago, but I, I got love for you like you are. I mean, the defense is insane. We got some of the greatest defensive players of all time in this simulation right now. Larry Bird, an All-NBA second team. So, Finals MVP and All-NBA second team now. I'm waiting for somebody to go ahead and win that MVP, the regular MVP. Yeah, we got a whole series, man. We got a whole series of these teams going against each other. I just want to simulate the play-in and see who makes it. One of our teams make it. So, we got two series right now where we get to go in and potentially get a Game 7. And we got three series. Oh, my God. Three series out west of the players. So, in this one, Spurs Suns, Kawhi versus Pip. Woo! They used to call Kawhi Young Pip back in the day. I ain't forgot. I ain't forgot. They used to call him Young Pip. Paul Pierce versus Kevin Durant. LeBron versus... I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Dominique. Yes, Dominique. I be forgetting you there. That team is kind of stacked. All right, so let's just get to simulated, man. Hopefully, we get at least one game seven. We got three games here. There are three series here. There's no way there's not a game seven out of them. Okay, one of our teams gets swept. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. We are getting no game sevens. But hey, we got two more series to potentially get the game seven. Who got swept, though? The Kings got swept. Paul Pierce, sorry it had to be you. But Kevin Durant as a starter is ridiculous. And if this series he shot, yes. This series went six with Scotty, RNBA Scotty. I'm here for that. And then this series went six as well. Braun tried to give it his all. He averaged 30, 38 points in 62, 60, 66 splits. So many sixes in there. That was not enough to get it done. 
So now we got more. Pip versus KD, even though they won't be guarding each other. All right, let's see. Let's see these series play out. No matter what, we're getting one of our teams in the finals, which is great. At least one of our teams in the finals. Come on, give me two game sevens. We got two game sevens. Beautiful. Simcast this game seven. Will we get a close one, close enough for us to jump into? So far, the answer is yes. Three minutes to go. It is close. And then it's not. I, I unpaused it for seven, not a seven milliseconds. KD did not have enough. Instead, it was Jalen Green. Pip gave them an all-around game. Pip is never going to be the dude that give you average 30. You know what I'm saying? But that's why you have Jalen Green. This team is greatly orchestrated. Pip is going to give you a little bit of everything and give you elite-level defense on top of that. That's what Pip is there for. Another game seven is here of Mavericks versus Nuggets. All right. This didn't start off close, but hey, the game of basketball is a very long game. We talked about 40-plus minutes of nothing but dribbling and shooting and defense, and I don't know if it'll ever be close, and it did not end up being close. There we go. But we are here. We might get a finals matchup with two of our guys in it. That's what I'm here for, man. That's exactly what I'm here for. Pip versus Dominique. I mean, this Nuggets team is all-time great. Three 90s and a potential 90 up there. I'm sorry. They're, Scotty, you have met your, your maker because there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. That's This team is too nasty. The team is too nasty. Can we get the Cleveland team? Can Larry Bird repeat? He does not get back to the finals. It wasn't because of him, because he gave them 39, 11, 3, and 3. He was amazing. Alperin Sengun and was wow. Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid coexisting in this universe. They got a lot of bigs. That's 6, 11, that's 7 foot, that's 6, 9, and that's 6, 10. Like, whoa, that's a ton. And now we got Dominique Wilkins versus Joel Embiid. They, now, there's no team that's beating this Nuggets team. I'm sorry. Oh, great. That, great. Yep. Great. NBA Finals next year. We got Kawhi versus James Worthy. 92 overall. 93 overall. Can we get a game seven? Please don't. Please don't sweep them. Please don't sweep. Yeah. Fight back, Phoenix. Kawhi Leonard becomes the second player to win a championship and the second player to win Finals MVP. This year, not a ton happened. Nobody won an awards. We got a couple All NBA appearances from some people, but it was nothing that you missed. Basically, some people are though starting to plateau. I think it was Adrian Dantley went up by just by one. They're like, hey, come on, Dantley. He's like an 88. He's not even gonna reach the 90 club. Impossible, impossible, right? Carmelo is a pre-annual six man, by the way. He won six man of the year again. I can't get him to start no matter how many times I change it around. He needs to go to his next team or Jason Tatum got to go because we're not getting the best version of Carmelo because he's a six man in this universe. Like that sucks. Worried he's the best on this team. Dantley, like I said, 88 overall, and he's kind of plateauing around there. Dominique might've been plateaued as well. LeBron is still blossoming, but yet has not made a finals appearance yet or even been really close, honestly. Durantula is the first one to win MVP. Actually, I think that he went on record and said he doesn't like the name Durantula. So we'll just call him KD. Slim Rika. Easy money sniper. That's you. He averaged 25, 6.5, and, and 7 rebounds. He wasn't 50, 40, 90 because he didn't get that free throw percentage up. But he's very close shooting 45% from 3. And now he needs that championship to put him over the top. Carmelo Anthony gets his third and second of six men of the year award. I mean, it's just the way it's going to go, I guess. I change it every single season. Nothing really matters. We also got LeBron James on an all-NBA team, of course. We got Worthy. We got Leary. We got Scotty. We didn't get the Giannis spot because Giannis is still Giannis. But hey, we got five out of the six forward spots on all NBA. That's pretty good. Defensively, LeBron has been all defensive team too, y'all. LeBron ain't had no championship run at all. But he's been very consistently all NBA first team, second team, stuff like that, but hasn't been able to do much other than that. Make some all defensive teams, maybe get on a run here, but nope, he's down and he does not come back. We got three teams still competing right now. I'm only looking for finals appearances. This is Scottie Pippen versus a random team. Scotty's only an 89 overall, so right now he's not even the best player on the team. He's more of a role player. But Scotty has always been Scotty. People always say the second best player on the team is the Scotty Pippen to the Jordan. So, you know what I'm saying? But here he is winning finals MVP. When it mattered the most, he averaged 27, 9, and 8. Hold on. That's all time. That's all time, Scotty. To go from 17 points per game in the regular season to get to the, the championship and go up to 27 points? Scotty B. Pippen. That's what he be. That, that's amazing, Scotty. I'm very, very proud. We got an NBA championship for Kevin Durant. He didn't go against anybody in the finals other than uh, Darius Garland, who's not a part of this video. But that's a championship. I think it's half of my first break. What are we, seven years into their career? 
Dang, seven years into their career, yep. Do we have any of them becoming free agents? I would love to see some of these players switch teams, but I just don't know the likelihood of it. I'm gonna say I'm team free Carmelo, mostly because I believe that he has the opportunity to potentially make some all NBA appearances if they gave him the starter role, and he not getting that. The greatest six men in NBA history, at this point, Carmelo has how many awards? He's got four of those, and he's been an all-star three times. He's on the Manu Ginobili arc right now, all-star slash six-man. And you know what? I wouldn't mind it if they were out, actually out there winning games and stuff, if they were winning championships. Because, like, yeah, Manu was cool being a six-man because he knew at the end of the day, I still got TP, I still got Tim Duncan, and I'm going to have Kawhi, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to win some championships. They ain't won none of those things. Dude, are, are they even making a play? They're the eighth seed. Will we get somebody to win the championship this season? We got a couple matchups out east. The four seed beats the eight seed, and we got one game here for Scotty, and Scotty is back, baby. Scotty is back, and guess what? He's on the better team. Can he get two Finals MVPs? You got to steal it away from Jalen Green. I know Jalen Green's gonna put up better stats this time around, and Scotty. Hey, Scotty with two Finals MVPs is pretty good. I mean, oh my God, in the elimination game, he sucked. I mean, he can score. But two-time champion, two-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA. He's got more All-NBA appearances than he got All-Star appearances. I'm telling you, bro, this right here, the small forward is going to be so hard to determine once they're all retired. Okay, that's something. Scotty, one-year deal, three-year deal for Kawhi, one-year deal. So they must, a lot of these players, Melo, come on, Melo, you deserve better. You deserve better. A lot of these people probably had little player options that they accepted. Adrian Danley got an extension. All right, I think that's why I'm wrapping it right now. This means nothing for you, but for me, I got to go eat lunch. All right, so a lot of things have changed between uh, the cut. I said I was going to get lunch, and I did a lot more than that. <laughs> I did a lot more than that, but I'm back. Okay, so we're back in the finals, right? Scottie Pippen and Larry Bird. Somebody's about to get another ring. That's great. These two people are competing to be in the top three for sure. I think Larry Bird, I actually don't even remember what happened in the first half of this video. Scottie Pippen, up 3-1, back to a seven-game series. Okay, please give us a game to jump into. I'm here for Scotty versus Larry Bird, something we did not get to see, at least in a final setting. And we are not getting to see it today because Scotty Pippen continues to dominate that at that, what is that, three championships? Scotty said it don't matter. I'ma end up with six. I'ma end up with six, no matter who I'm playing with. Three-time champion, two-time all-star, all NBA, three times, all defensive team once. He has been stellar. He has been killing it. All right, I think this is the year, though, that we got some people enter free agency. JK, I think they all signed extensions. Again, that kind of sucks, bro. I like to see player movement and stuff in these videos, but it's unlikely. I even changed up the loyalty for a lot of these, these cats. I understand re with your team, but not even getting wined and dined I could not be me. If I was available to get a contract extension in the NBA, I am going out there. Even if I want to stay with the same team, I'm going out there to just listen. I had a contract um, negotiation with my current employer. And I knew I wanted to stay, but you think I signed my name on that dotted line immediately? Absolutely not. I'd be crazy to do that. I went out to look at other offers, got my offer higher. See, these players not thinking about that. Melo is now a starter while Jason Tatum is the sixth man. How about we just have them both start? I like, come on, bro. They can coexist. Stop saying that they can't. And now that I made them a starters, watch them go fast. They about to be a championship team until they change it. 29 years old, this is the resume of Kevin Durant. Three-time MVP, two-time champion, nine-time All-Star, and All-NBA team a bunch of times. At 29, two-time champion, three-time MVP. First player to win Defensive Player of the Year here is Scottie Pippen. His resume at 32, remember he came in a little bit later, a little bit older than Kevin Durant and some of the other dudes. Three-time champion, two-time All-Star, All-NBA team three times, All-Defensive team four times, and the Defensive Player of the Year. I think those are the two guys that are competing. But also, Larry Bird. No, no, Larry Bird's up there as well with one MVP, two championships, nine NBA All-Star appearances, and then nine All-NBA teams in his 11 years. So Larry Bird, Scottie Pippen, and Kevin Durant are all fighting. This boy, Braun, has a really nice resume. No MVPs, though. No championship even appearances. But, I mean, he's all NBA first team and second team all the time, regularly. So we know that he's getting them good stats and everything, but he's 30 years old. He ain't even had a finals appearance. He hasn't even been one of the top seats. He's always around at 4-5 at max. He got out of the first round this time around, but then got swept by OKC. And here we go with, like, Scottie Pippen and Larry Bird potentially seeing each other again. And they will. This is a real-life rivalry. These dudes have played each other in the finals. Can I go check that? Can I go see? 
NBA history, past champions, Spurs versus Cavs, Spurs versus Cavs. This is the third time they've matched up against each other. Yeah, just the third time because the other time that Larry Bird was there was against the Clippers. So this is a real life rivalry right here. Game one, Spurs. Game two, Spurs. Game three, Spurs. Game four, a good old sweep, but it is James Wiseman that takes finals MVP this time around and not Scottie Pippen. But hey, Scottie don't really care about those MVP awards because he knows he has guaranteed his spot into the NBA Hall of Fame and guaranteed his spot to stay on the list of the top small forwards of all time. LeBron is feeling overjoyed about the situation. It's good to be thought of being worthy to be named all defensive team. I strive to be the league's best, so being all NBA means a lot to me. Being named MVP is one of the greatest individual accomplishments to be bestowed. Yeah, LeBron won MVP, averaged 36, six and five. Those are amazing numbers for you, LeBron. But can you win a championship? I mean, 36 is insane on 43-ish percent shooting from three. And he won defensive, oh snap. LeBron, you need that championship though, cause K KD got a few of them things. KD got a couple MVPs and a couple championships. You need to catch up at this point. He's back to four C, bro. It's the same thing over and over and over for him. And he doesn't make it out of the second round. The, who was on, I'm forgetting who's on what team. This is Kevin, okay, right. <laughs> okay, see, Kevin Durant might be winning another championship, ladies and gentlemen, he's going against the Raptors. The Raptors come back. Kay Cunningham, low key, has been here for some time. Great for some time. That's his second championship, his second finals MVP, if I remember correctly. He used to be in Golden State, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are. I don't say. I don't want to say get to the point where they're going to start to retire because we got 31, and all of them are still really good. Is, has any of them started to regress yet? Dominique is regressing. He's 35, bro. Whoa. Why did he come in so much older than everybody else? So he's 35. Pip is 34. He started to regress a little bit. But for the most part, everybody's about the same. Kawhi is starting to regress a little bit, but his counter stats are still amazing. We've yet to get like a really good game seven. I don't even know if we should at this point. You know, we so deep into the video. It'll feel weird to randomly jump into one of these games. But hey, I guess anything is really possible. All these dudes are gonna spend their entire careers on one team. That's what makes them great. LeBron is stacking up on defensive play of the years at this point. Kevin Durant is stacking up on MVP awards at this point. And at this rate, he's got five and two championships. He is the greatest small forward of all time as of right now. I guess a lot of things could change in these next couple seasons, but I mean, KD is doing his thing. He's continuously been a top seed in a loaded Western Conference, and he might mess around and win another one. Only time will tell as they get out of the first round. We just trying to look around. The Eastern Conference hasn't been represented by one of our teams in some time now. And just like that, we're back to the finals for Kevin Durant. And they're down 3-1, and they lose it. K Cunningham, there they go. But Kevin Durant continuously is making it. I know you want to win those things, but I think making it far still matters on your resume too. And I'm curious to see what the progression is like. We're in the year 2037, which is uh, a lot of years, a lot of years from where we started. So we're getting closer and closer to the end of these players' careers, unfortunately. And I think some players' resumes are kind of washed. Like Carmelo's resume sucks, bro. Three Six Man of the Year awards, that's it, you know? I don't remember him making an all in the eights. Oh, Larry Bird's dropping dramatically. Oh, Larry Legend. It might be a wrap for him very, very soon. Paul Pierce is dropping by one. And he only got six all-star appearances, which is, I guess that's fine. Yeah, I guess that's fine. James Worthy, 11-time all-star. Maybe that's not fine. Oh, Adrian Daly's over. He's done. He's done. Three All-NBA teams. Adrian Daly is done. Bro's about to be retiring next season or something. Oh, Dominique is done. Dominique is probably last. I don't know. We're going to look at his career averages once he retires, but three-time All-Star is not enough in these type of simulations. You know LeBron is going to play until he's 60. Pip is close to done as, as well, man. Kawhi is getting up there. So, yeah, we going to have a few players that's going to stay around. The people that are staying around in real life, LeBron, Carmelo, Kevin Durant, these older cats that are sticking around. But the rest, yeah, next two to three seasons, we might be down to like three total players. We are here with our first retirement, James Worthy. 11 out of his 16 years, he was an all-star. He made an all-NBA team two different times. Pretty solid career, if you ask me. Career averages of 22, six and a half, and three. Never, ever, 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 ever hit a three-pointer in his career. Never, ever, ever 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 even attempted a three-pointer in his career so imagine what he would have averaged if he actually attempted them 53 points is the career high 16 rebounds 12 assists 6 steals 5 blocks 44 minutes and just like that the first domino has fallen 
and it is James Worthy. He is last on the totem pole right now, obviously, because nobody else is retired. I think he might end up in the seven to nine range. I think he might end up seven to nine. The legend himself has retired and Dominique Wilkins follows. You know how these videos work. You know, you play your entire career with a team and then in the last year, they don't want to bring you back. And now your perfect streak in, in Dominique Wilkins' case is gone because now you're on another team. But let's look at Dominique's resume to start off with. Three-time All-Star. That's it. Dominique is going dead last on our list. If we talk about overall averages, 22, five and three. It's just, it just wasn't really nothing. He's dead last in our, our top 10 small fours. Career high is 55. So he did that thing. 18 rebounds, 10 assists, five blocks, six steals. And then we get to Larry Legend. Bonafide top three, in my opinion, based on the fact that he won an MVP. He won two championships. He was all NBA 13 times in the 17 year career. And he was an all-star 15 times in the 17 year career. That's amazing for Mr. Legend. Let's take a look at these overall statistics. Averaging 23, about seven and seven. We'll round up for you. 45%, 43% from three and never really missing free throws. And we look at our career highs, it's going to be 51 points, 11 made threes, 17 rebounds, 18 assists. Wow, Larry, 18 assists is kind of wild. Seven steals and three blocks. I think he's top three. The other guys don't really match up. So now we got three down, six to go. And you're going to see that Larry Legend makes the Hall of Fame. Yep. Okay, I was going to say, why he did it? No, he does. And yeah, I'm not surprised Dominique did it because the resume just wasn't there. Adrian Dantley becomes the next domino to fall. He basically didn't even play this season, but that's all right. Career high is 56 points, 19 rebounds, 14 assists, seven steals, and oh, five steals, six blocks. He was a seven-time All-Star on the 18 four times, and a lot of those were very early on in the video. He kind of blossomed first and then plateaued very fast, but still higher than some of the other people that we saw. I won't assume that he's going to make a uh, Hall of Fame, but... I'm going to say no. I'm going to say he's not going to be into the Hall of Fame, but who knows? He definitely is not. So we move on. I want to point out that at the age of 37, Kevin Durant just won another MVP award. So I don't see bro um, retiring any. LeBron is on their first team again as well. So I don't see any of these two dudes retiring anytime soon because they're still like on the top. Uh, Carmelo is here. All three of these dudes are still on the top of their, their profession at the ages of close to 40. But will LeBron get a championship? The answer is actually no, because he didn't even make the playoffs. LeBron's going to go this whole video without getting a ring. That's super unfortunate. Okay, so we do get somebody. It's it's Paul Pierce and uh, Scotty Too Hotty Pippen. Both call this. I mean, at 84 overall, Paul Pierce can still go, but he won't. Eight-time All-Star, only made third team. Pretty good all-around. Paul Pierce spends a tight career in Sacktown. The averages are a 21, six and a half, and about four. Let me see their career highs. I have not seen somebody with a career high like 60. It just doesn't happen. 51, 12, 17 assists, five steals, four blocks. Scottie Pippen, 34 was just his career high. But Scottie Pippen was in a super elevated role player. And I mean, super, super elevated role player. You don't expect him to drop you a 50. You never do. He had three threes, ended up with 18 rebounds in a single game, 16 assists, nine steals, seven blocks. That's the Scottie Pippen we know. The resume is immaculate. He got to be top three, right? No, no, no. He's probably number four. Because I'm assuming it's going to be KD, Paul Pierce, LeBron in, in some order. And then Pip is probably four. Four-time champion. Only made two all-star appearances, but was all NBA three times. All defensive ten times out of his 19-year career and won two defensive player of the years. That's an amazing resume. That four championships really puts him over a lot of people. And if you look at Hall of Fame, he's obviously going to be there. And same thing with Paul Pierce. So shout out to both of them. As we continue, I'm expecting... Two years to see LeBron there, maybe. 40 years old and Carmelo calls it a career. Reality is, he could probably play for another season. I'm not going to force him to. 16-time All-Star, All-NBA first team one time, All-NBA second team six times. A lot of these are like the last couple seasons. All-NBA first team, that might have been this season. You know what? I'm telling Melo, no, you got one more year in you. Like if he was the last one. Yeah, it's 20. It's 2043. He was just all NBA first team. No, you got to go another year. I'm sorry, Melo. You got one more year on your contract anyway. Go ahead and make some more bread. Potentially get your resume a little bit better. Get more points for your all all time points. You guys too. So you know how I told Carmelo not to retire. Um, he took he really took that to heart, y'all. Because he he's he's still here. The other guys are retiring. <laughs> and now I'm about to tell them not to retire so all of them can retire together. So 
Melo, you keeping this video going, my boy. Keep it up, man. It was like four years ago. It was, no, 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 it was the end of 2020, 2043. So three years ago, I told bro, don't retire. And he took that to heart, man. Melo's trying to be the greatest score of all time. Kevin Durant officially calls it. I can't tell him again. He was an 11 time MVP in his 24 year career. That's all you really need to know. He is number one. Kevin Durant is number one. I mean, there's nothing else that can really be said. 19 time All NBA first team. He's not even the greatest small forward of all time. He's the greatest player of all time with this resume. It's not even close. He's a two time champion. All right, you know, he played 24 years, only got two championships. That's fine. You know, that's better than a lot of people. 57 points was his career high. Unfortunate. We know KD can do more than that. 22 rebounds, 17 assists, 10 steals, and then six blocks. If we were talking about the all-time stats, they're going to be great. He might be the all-time leading scorer other than Carmelo Anthony. He averaged about 26 points per game, seven assists, eight rebounds, 50, 40, 90 for the career. And that's, that's it. Hall of Fame, you already know it, pal. You know who's going to be there. It's going to be him. This point in time, let me, let me just double check some things. 43 and 43, still hooping. Melo's not even gonna get another contract. He's only a 78. You know, he's only, well, 78's actually one of, not even that bad in this world. It's a lot of people that aren't very good. LeBron is still averaging 20 plus. Carmelo averaged 12. Okay, so he felt, he really fell off last year, but he won't accept it and he's not gonna retire because he wants to be the last man standing from his draft class. Carmelo retired, man. All right, I told you he wasn't gonna get another job and I was right in that. He could've just did it last year. 18-time All-Star, four-time six-man of the year. The resume ended up looking a lot better than I anticipated. All-NBA seven different times. I believe this might be like five or six, man. I think I think this is five or six. If Melo's one and LeBron's two and Larry Bird's three, Melo can low-key be like full five. So shout out to Melo, man. What are the career highs around here? Actually, let's go through career stats. We got 22, six, and five. Okay, great. He wasn't 50, 40, 90, but he was so very close. 15 rebounds, 14 assists. LeBron, it's your time, my boy. Please, just, just do it. Hall of Fame, you know Melo's gonna be there. Same thing with Gene Mayo. I don't know who he is, but Mayo's always fun to say. LeBron, just holding out, bro. He's got one more year in his contract, so if you don't retire at the end of this deal, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Bro gonna play until you like 50? It's 12.34, LeBron. Can I just go to bed? I'm tired. Can you please just call it, bro? You're not even do. you didn't even play this year. You just, you're, he's Udonis Haslam. He's new age Udonis Haslam right now. Bro, he still ain't got a ring. At least UD got a few of them things. I cannot believe bro when I retire. I swear to you, if you don't retire, he trying to be 50. He legit trying to go to 50. Bron, Bron, bro, what's we, what are we doing at this point? And you still not winning? I'm just trying to go to bed. It's been 15 more minutes. LeBron is really killing me right now. Why are they allowing me to get LeBron to 50 years old and everybody else goes to 40? It's because 2K has programmed it that LeBron never retires. You passed your prime, kid. The good thing is his birthday is at the end of December, so he will eclipse 50 years old and he can finally say he's done. At least that's what I hope it happens. I, I, I think LeBron just won a ring. Please tell me you're still on the team. I don't think he's on the team anymore. I don't think he's on the team anymore. No way the Rockets finally won. He was on the roster. He held out until he got his ring and he's done. He played 27 seasons. He played until he was 50. You're a one-time MVP. You played for 25, 28 seasons. You won one MVP and one championship the last year where you literally didn't do nothing to get there. You're second behind KD right now, my boy. All NBA team, 17 times, I think that's the number. 17 time All-Star as well. I still cannot believe we're at this point right now, but hey, we get to go to bed. 27 points, six assists, five rebounds, 51, 43, 78. That's everybody, man. Hall of Famer, of course, because he's LeBron. And wow. Okay, before we get out of here, we gotta go through NBA records. LeBron is the all-time leading scorer which makes sense, he played until he was 50. We also got Carmelo Anthony, who played until he was super old as well. We got three of the top four are from this video, which is great. The other LeBron is still down here as well, but that's pretty much it. Total field goals, LeBron is here. Three pointers, LeBron is there. Kevin Durant is there. Paul Pierce is there. KD, top 10 in rebounding, passing the ball. KD, wow, Kevin Durant is just that boy. KD here for blocks. 
Oh my KD, the all-time leading. Hey, there's no conversations. Him and Scott and LeBron. I guess we got top three. But KD being top five in every statistical category, including turnovers, is elite. There is no better. Kevin Durant was the best player in today's simulation. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, man. I appreciate everybody that watched me for these hours. I don't think the video is an hour, but still hours of me filming. And I'll see y'all in a couple days. This is Friday, which means I'll see y'all on Monday. Peace.